Hi, this is Jacqueline and I'm back with my next video on hyperbaric oxygen therapy. So there has been some chatter about whether or not hyperbaric oxygen therapy would be beneficial for long haul COVID. So I did wanna go over some of the benefits of hyperbaric oxygen therapy. And then I did wanna go over my experience with trying it out. So first, the benefits of hyperbaric oxygen therapy are that it increases oxygenation to the body's tissue, it increases blood flow and circulation, it boosts the white blood cell count, it reduces swelling and pain, it accelerates healing, and it promotes growth of new blood vessels. There are many benefits of doing hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Those are just a few that I mentioned, but people do them for wound healing and chronic fatigue, and there's a lot of literature out there. So definitely check into that if that's something that you're interested in. I personally felt that it would be something that could be beneficial, so I did look into it. And just a couple quick facts are that, first of all, it is expensive. The treatments can run anywhere from $150 to $300 per session. They typically recommend that when you do sessions that you do them consecutively. So if you're going to buy five sessions or 10 sessions that you're going to do them for 10 days in a row and for about two hours per session. So if you think about that logistically, time-wise, if you're working, have a family to go and do this treatment 10 days in a row for two hours at a time and have to drive to and from the place, it can obviously take a lot of time and it can be pretty expensive. Um, from the research I looked into, anything that's called a chronic syndrome, they usually recommend about 30 to 40 sessions. So of course, as you can imagine, that can get pretty costly. So what I decided to do was I decided to rent a chamber for the month. So there are places that will rent out chambers. I got the Respiro, and that is a little bit of a smaller chamber. So you do wanna check into that if you are looking at renting a chamber or going and doing hyperbaric oxygen therapy, how big the chamber is, especially if you're claustrophobic at all. I do wanna run you through my videos. I took videos while I was in the chamber, so it could just be as real and authentic as I could be. So go ahead and take a look at my videos, and on the other side, I will go over my review of doing hyperbaric oxygen therapy for one month. Hi, coming here live from the H-bomb machine. Oh, love those Matt Greenfalls. <laughs> oh, anyway, that's the least of my worries right now. Um, but I've had this for four weeks now. I would say that I feel like it has definitely helped. I wish I could say percentage wise. I have some other things going on right now. I went and I did a monoclonal antibody treatment. So I definitely will fill everybody in on that whole experience. So right now I have some things going on in my body related to that. But I can say that after about, I'd say like two to three weeks, I, I feel like I just overall started to, to feel better. It's always hard to say for sure what's causing what. If you have disposable income, which I know most of us do not, I would say try it. I don't think there's any harm in trying it. And I have heard from other people that they feel like that it is helpful. It's just does the cost outweigh the benefit. I mean, that's what it comes down to. It's, it, the sessions are very expensive. I'm in a soft chamber. I've heard from some people that the hard chambers or the like get, get, get deeper pressurization that those might actually be better than these soft chambers this is just what i could rent was the just the easiest option to be able to do multiple treatments in a row but i definitely would say that there has an improvement i feel that anything that can bring extra oxygen to our body help heal tissues help heal blood vessels or bring stem cells out to help heal your body is definitely something positive for yourself. I mean, I think we all know there's not one magical cure. I don't know, guys. It, it, this one's a gamble for me. I'm glad I did it. I feel like, again, that it did help me. But to tell someone to spend this kind of money if you really don't have it, I, I'm just not sure. It, it, if you are able to find I, I heard someone found a Groupon for one. If you can find something like that, she was going 50 bucks a session. I think that's definitely worth it. But it is something that I'm told you have to do multiple sessions in a row, like every single day. Oh my gosh, the, the girl recommended I sleep in here overnight. I was like, there is no way I'm gonna sleep in here. Like, what if you have to go to the bathroom? I go to the bathroom several times a night. Like, I'm not gonna be able to depressurize this thing and get out and go to the bathroom. I don't know, guys, my review is, if you have the money or find a group on, try it out. Smash the like button and subscribe.